Hey beautiful dreamers, it's Nova Rose the beauty nerd here and yes, I look strange. But that is because today we are doing a review slash try on slash first impression of the Wet n Wild Gothographic Collection. This is their spring collection and they even say on it, spring with a holographic edge. This is what the box looks like. I bought this myself. Um, it was $39.99, which is not too bad. I mean, this is Wet n Wild. They're a pretty cheap brand in general, which I really, really like. So this is their spring collection, as I said. This comes with, I believe, four highlighters, but different kind of texture highlighters, or different kinds of highlighters. Three eyeliners, four lipsticks, and I believe four liquid shadows. So we are going to kind of test them out watch them and yeah I obviously you know because we're going to be trying on makeup I just have my eyebrows my foundation and my eyes are you know I put some foundation on them and set them with powder so we will just yeah before we get on into the video if you're new here welcome my name is Nova Rose it would be awesome if you would subscribe to my channel I make two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays so just come join the channel. Um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get in onto the collection. So here is what the box looks like open. As you can see, you get a loose highlighter, a highlighter stick, two um, pressed highlighters, four eyeshadow, um, I guess liquid, liquid eyeshadows, uh, three eyeliners, and four lipsticks, I think. We're gonna start off with what I would normally do first, which is the eyeshadow, um, because that's just kind of the order I do my makeup in. So I'm gonna be taking all four of these out and I will swatch these on my hand, and we will maybe use like one of them to kind of do a look with. In conjunction with the liquid eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild uh, Not A Basic Peach palette, which is, you know, their I guess they're, what are they called? They're just color icon eyeshadow palettes, but they're kind of like the new ones. So we'll be using some of the colors just for like crease colors, yada yada. So let me just get these out of the like, um, what do you call this, the plastic, and we will be right back and I will just swap. All right, so I got the uh, plastic off of them. Here are the colors. The packaging is super cute. It's got like, you know, holographic skulls on them. So this is gothographic, so it's like, I guess it's goth with um, holographic. I don't know quite how to feel because I do feel like I, in my normal life, not quite on YouTube, border into the a little bit goth. More, I feel like I'm a little bit more punk in my personal life, but uh, you know, who knows. I tried to be also uh, like semi, you know, on trend or on brand. Whatever. But anyway, I have like little pink skulls with flowers at uh, earrings and then I've got my spider web uh, choker. So yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> swatch these and we'll start off with the lightest color right here. This one is called Pure Intention. Intention? No, that's not what it is. Pure Intuition. I don't know. Weird. Uh, but it looks like a kind of a white shimmery color. The applicator looks like so. It is a flat applicator and we're just gonna swatch this on the back of the hand. Hmm. Let me just mix it up a little bit. See if we can get, get a... Um, a smoother application, I don't know. It looks really pretty, but it's definitely not really something I would wear alone, probably. Maybe like in the inner corner because it's very bright and sparkly, but it's a little streaky. So, just something there. Anyway, next I'm gonna go in with Mystic Dreamer, which is a pink shade. Let me just like, Stir it around. This looks really weird, but okay. That one's 
one's a little, well, that one's a little better. So there is Mystic Dreamer. It's more on the pink side, but I don't know if you can really tell in this light. I don't know. They're just, I think they're, what are they just, they're called liquid eyeshadow. They might be better as like top coats. Who knows? Second shade is Goth Tears. Yeah. And then this looks like a purple color. Yeah, that one's nice. That one is good. It's a little, little on the streaky side, but little like pretty good. So it's a kind of purple blue color. A little bit. Yeah, it's a little, a little streaky. And then last one is Nyctophilia. I'm not pronouncing any of these names right, but that's fine. Ooh, this looks like a nice midnight blue. Or uh, purple. So that is what that one looks like. Yeah, it's kind of like a midnight blue purple-ish color. I think I'm just going to try and put some crease colors in and I'll fast forward through that and then I'll figure out what color I wanna do on the lid um, you know, afterwards. Shadow, and I think I'm gonna try uh, Mystic Dreamer, which is the pink color. We'll just give it a go on the lid, see how it does. Definitely needs to be blended out, but that is super pretty on the lid. Um, I definitely feel like these are super pretty, especially that one. Um, gives It looks better, I would say, on the lid than it probably swatches. Um, I look forward to playing around with these. These look really nice, which is great. So I can't really say my final thoughts on these, but the pink shade that I tried is really super pretty with this. Um, with this palette, I really like. Maybe I'll use those in combination. So I'm definitely gonna use probably a cup or at least like this one to add like the inner corner highlight when I do after I do my concealer and all of that. So I will definitely have to come back to these. Now I think we'll do the like the eyeliners just because that's the the next step that I generally do. So let's do the eyeliner. All right, so you get three different eyeliners in this set. You get a white, a pink, and a purple, and we will do the same thing and swatch these on the back of the hand. I'm gonna start out with the white, which is called Skull Prayer. They just look like so. They have a tiny little like applicator brush. Pretty good. I think that's... Oh, the swatch that didn't come off. Don't mind all the glitter on my hand. That's what happens when you swatch glittery stuff. Anyway, we'll go on to the pink now, which is called Pink Coffin. Oh, God. Oh, this brush. Oh, no. So that's what the pink looks like. I think it's going to take a little bit more working with the brush. Hopefully, I can get that back into place. And then the last one is called Black Butterfly, and it's a purple. Okay, so this one is not that fantastic. Let me just shake it up. So, yeah, you can tell it's kind of patchy. Let me try shaking it up, try that. 
No, it's kind of just, it's kind of just chunky. So I think I'll try to do maybe like a white eyeliner look or maybe a pink if I can work with the brush. So I'll just do some eyeliner and you know, yada yada. I did some eyeliner and I can tell you this is the first time I've done like white eyeliner. Uh, it's not my favorite thing. It's definitely, I don't know if you can tell, but it was not really all that easy to work with. It's kind of patchy. It's just not my favorite thing. So um, that's uh, what I did with it and um, about it. So the eyes are almost done. Eventually, you know, I'll go back and after I put on like concealer and powder and stuff, um, we'll do the under eyes and the inner corner. I'm going to quickly put on a little bit of concealer so we can test out the stick highlight. So let me do that really quickly. So concealer is on and now we are going to use the highlighting stick which is called Hell O Darkness and it looks like so. Let me just, uh, you know, struggle to get the packaging off. Oh, surprisingly easy. Let's open it up. Oh, it's got a nice little cap on the top. So it keeps it kind of fresh. Looks really pretty. Looks like very smooth. We'll give it a quick swatch on the back of the hand. I wouldn't say it's holographic. It's very like iridescent. Um, kind of purpley shift. So we'll just, uh, I guess, you know, put this straight on the face. And see how it goes. So that's just gonna put it kind of you know it wasn't a good idea to do that because it glows there. But it did mix in a little bit with the foundation so well yeah there's foundation on this that was not a good idea on my part so let's see how are we going to do this i think i'm going to try and take this little brush try and get an amount and just I think this is working. Give me a second, I'm screwing up. Try and put this on my beauty blender. Mm, I don't know, I'm not having a good time, guys. I just don't know how to put stick highlighters on. This is why I don't wear cream highlighters. It's pretty, I think it's pretty if you knew how to apply it. I probably don't know how to apply it. We're gonna try. Run it down my nose. Just removed some of the foundation from my nose. We're gonna stop there. Um, I think I need to keep working with this. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm gonna keep working with this. Probably this is something I would more wear on my no makeup days. Like when I wanna just be Louie, uh, and we're like no foundation and stuff. 
So, you know, I'll keep trying this out, I'll let you know. So I'm gonna just quickly powder my face and do a little contouring and be right back. Face is powdered. And we are going to use this one, which is Pure Intention. Um, in the inner corner. Just a bit to add some sparkle. And then I'm going to take my finger there you go eyes are done now we're gonna move on to the like powder highlights all right so that took me way longer than it should finally got all the highlighters open uh, so this set comes with two of these mega glow highlighting powders um, I have actually two of the regular ones with the flower design and I really like them. Um, and then it also comes with a loose highlighter which you can tell is a very, very pretty color. Almost looks a little bit like, very similar to, kind of, but the, the Amreezy one, Amreezy? Um, is a little bit more golden but maybe dupe? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we've got these three highlighters which are going to be awesome. I'm definitely excited for the loose highlighter because I don't think I have a loose highlighter, um, which is really cool. So I think I'm gonna swatch quickly the two Mega Glow ones and um, yeah. So this one is in White Raven and it, if I can even get it open. There we go. Looks like so. It's got a little skull on it. There we go. So we're just going to give it a swatch. Definitely, um, you know, a little bit of a purple, like, a, I guess, is it called duochrome? Um, but it flashes purple. It's definitely not holographic, but uh, none of this stuff is. And I think it's very hard to make holographic makeup, but it's still very pretty. And it is. So the next one is called Purple Ashes, and it is um, on the purple side. Well, it's kind of a pink that kind of flashes purple. So we'll take a clean finger. Yeah, definitely like more purple in some light. So we'll swatch that on the hand too. Um, pretty, definitely probably more of a subtle highlight, not necessarily like an everyday highlight. But looks looks nice, kind of glittery. And then we are going to uh, swatch the loose highlight, which is called Moon Tears, and it's got a skull on it. So I'm just going to peel off. Hopefully, not make a mess. Go very slowly. Ah! There we go. So that is off. So I'm gonna take a little from the top. Looks very sparkly. Down at the bottom, I don't know if you can really tell. So I'm just going to tap off, a, tap a little into the lid. And it looks like so. And we're gonna take my highlighting brush and just use this to highlight the cheeks. And get my mirror open. And put that down. Grab a little bit on my brush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, oh. Whoa, dude. Dude, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, ma'am. 
Do you see that? And what does this cost? I should look that up. I think it's probably like around four or six dollars. Oh my god. Dude. It's not it's not even on the other's cheek. Oh my goodness. Wow that is that is that is something else. It's you definitely have to be probably a little careful with it. It is very it's just, it's pretty, it's very glowy. I didn't even contour today. There's no contour there, it's just a dark spot. I did bronze, I didn't contour. Totally forgot the contour, that's the thing. Dude, put like a teeny, ah, too much on my nose. Oh my gosh, holy mackerel. Let me just uh, calm down. I'm gonna, you know, try and like blend this out a little bit. That is so pretty. Dude. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, uh, I love this. Oh my gosh, dude, this is, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I keep saying that, but this is so pretty. Definitely need to be careful with it, but look at that freaking glow, man. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be like my new favorite obsession. Okay, so. <laughs> Now that we have gotten the excitement of that highlighter over, which I can still like stop marvel. I mean, it's gorgeous. The last thing in this collection is four lipsticks and they're all metallic colors. So I'm gonna do um, what I do. Sorry, there's somebody shoveling snow outside. I can't tell if you can hear it. But I'm gonna do what I do and I'm gonna swatch them on my hand. I don't know if I'm going to swatch them all on my lips, or maybe just one, but who knows. So we're gonna start off with the lightest color, which is called Wicked Pink. Um, I like the Liquid Catsuit Matte formula. I have not tried the um, metallic formula, but maybe it's good. I mean, who knows. So we're just gonna swatch this. I don't know. Already getting off to a weird start. So here's what it looks like. Well, you can't even tell. It literally is streaky, patchy. And every time I like try and brush over it, I just take more off. That's what that one looks like. It's a light color. Hopefully the darker colors will be better. Let's do um, this blue, which is called Pastel Grunge. Take it out. Oh no, this is like chunky. That's what that one looks like. Okay, it's kind of chunky. And we'll do Gunmetal Heart, which is this gray. being so harsh guys but like I don't know I don't get disappointed in makeup often but it's just kind of chunky it's just, mm. and then this I guess kind of black blue shade which is called death to unicorns Please tell me this is good Bad. They're definitely on the sheer side. So that's what Death to Unicorn looks like. Um, I think I'll try this one with the pink one. Wicked pink on the lips. Uh, it's probably not gonna show up 
too, too much, but we'll just, you know what, put it on and finish the look. This is kind of the completed look. Um, I'm gonna quickly run through the products and kind of just talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the eyeshadow, the liquid eyeshadows. I really like them. I'll have to play around with them, but so far, so good. So uh, uh, thumbs up on those from me. The eyeliners, uh, thumbs down. They're not the best formula, I mean, it's pretty, but they're definitely not something I'm going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, would not buy, as I said, thumbs down. The highlighting stick, uh, it's a maybe. I'll have to play around a little bit more with it. It's, it's, it's an e. The highlighting powders, uh, like the press ones, I already know are good because they're really good. The loose highlighter is a fantastic Big thumbs up for me. Highly recommend. If you only buy one thing from this collection, buy this. Buy this. This um, moon tears. I mean, look at that glow. Oh my gosh, it's just it's gorgeous. Last thing, the lipsticks are a. I would say a thumbs down. I wouldn't get them. Um, they're not really colors that I would wear too often, but I'll definitely keep playing around with them. And um, we'll just have to see. This is, by the way, this is such a weird look on me. I don't know how to feel about this. But anyway, that was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for notifications. I make two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, it would be awesome if you would subscribe. My uh, social medias will be listed down in the description box below. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Stay beautiful. Bye!